everybody what's up I uh, just wanted to do a quick video out of boredom about um, what I'm gonna do while uh, AWX is no longer doing shows uh, first off we're stopped we uh, stopped doing shows so I could catch up on all the music videos and stuff I haven't ever had time to do I uh, can't promise they're gonna be done right away but in the future there will be lots of them done um, there's also lots of uh, other projects like superstar videos, uh, certain things, and the certain shows of the past that I just want to edit, put together, and just let the world see it. Not the world, but I mean, you know, the people who do watch our videos, I feel like they're missing out on some of the really good shows that just never have been seen by anybody else other than people that were involved. Um, other than that, me personally, um, since that, you know, I lost mostly all the passion for wrestling, um, there's a big reason, it's not just that, it's not WWE's fault that I don't feel that their shows are entertaining as much anymore, and that the fact that they're lacking and blah blah blah, it's, it's not just that. WWE could have the best show right now, if they, if this was Attitude Era times three right now, if this was just the ultimate time, I still would be losing the passion because one thing I thought of, and I said this before, is, you know, my height, 5'2". I would either have to be, like, some crazy Lucha Libre guy flying all over the place doing amazing flips for my size, <clears throat> or I don't even know how else I could get to the top. I would have to be taller. As you look at it, the only superstar that ever had the championship that's really sure is Rey Mysterio. And that's because he's a beast. He, he can fly around, he can do so many things that not that many other wrestlers can do. And, you know, if you look at him on WWE and then look at him in WCW, you can tell he's a little bit bigger. But still, you know, he's taller than me. He's not 5'2". I mean, it's weird, like, I looked on certain things, they'll say he's 5'1", 5 5'2", 5 and I'm like, oh, word, he's my height. But... Then again, I look on the website and some other places it says like 5'6", you know, 5'5". Five, five. I think even taller, 5'7", maybe. It's just like, damn. Um, but yeah, pro wrestling, they don't make money off of little guys. You know, I mean, they used to have the cruiser rate in WWE, but that's gone. Uh, that's never coming back. I mean, in my opinion, I think that's a dumb decision, but they, they need it, but they're not going to bring it back because they got rid of it. That's that. TNA is more of a spot for little guys, but still, once again, if you're going to be a little guy and be a pro wrestler, you got to be in the X Division, most likely. But then at the same time, you have to be able to know flips and do really good wrestling moves. You can't just be an average wrestler and get somewhere, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, in some, like, some wrestlers, if they have a good character, they could be an average wrestler, they could be okay, have a couple decent moves, and they could get places because of their character. That's the thing I don't like about pro wrestling. Because, see, with pro wrestling, my biggest thing is you could be one of the best in pro wrestling. But if you're too short, too small, don't have the right look, don't have the right character, if you're not the right person, you ain't going nowhere. That I've seen that happen so many times in my whole history of being a pro wrestling fan. That WWE or some organization will sign somebody that is so beast mode, but they'll just be like, no. This guy, this other guy, not you, this other guy, he makes more money. So this guy's going to the top. The guy that, that's a beast, that could do any, anything we tell him, we're not going to give him shit. That's the thing I hate about pro wrestling, because I feel like a lot of it is unfair. A lot of it is veterans and people like that just cleaning to their spots. People who make the money are the people that go places. The people who are beast mode wrestling, you're going to see them in independence in places where money doesn't matter as much. Because they're not on TV, you know what I'm saying, they're not on TV and they're not trying to grab an audience. I mean, like Ring of Honor, they're trying to they're trying to get up there, but, you know, it's going to be really weird when Ring of Honor's on TV, because I hate to tell you guys, but they're going to have to change. I mean, they've changed already from what I heard, but, you know, and it's pro wrestling is a business, it's not a sport. That's why I don't want to get into it. See, MMA and boxing, the two things that I'm very passionate about right now, See, before I got into pro wrestling, I wanted to be a fighter. I didn't know what kind of fighter. First, I was thinking boxing. 
and I was just wishing there was some kind of martial arts thing. Now there's MMA. Back when I was a little kid, there was no such thing. There was, but I didn't know about it, but, you know. But anyway, like, I feel like in boxing and MMA, like, if I was to get in the best shape of my life, no matter how tall I am, I feel like if I really had the passion and I have the skill to do it, and I become the best, I'll go to the top just because of my skill alone on my wins. It's not pre-planned where it's like on TV, it's like, oh, are you going to lose to this big guy because uh, he looks better with the belt, he sells more shirts. It's not that. It's, you know, in sports and MMA and boxing, it's the people who sell the merchandise or the people who win, the people who are beast mode. You know, the people that, that just are out there and they're just busting their ass and they're doing better than other people not just you know this guy's bigger so let's let's uh, let's make him win you know it's that's the thing I hate about pro wrestling is that it's bullshit it's just you know WWE is not what it used to be it's hard for me to watch it it's just not the same I just don't watch wrestling the same I mean last night I went online trying to find some old Ken Shamrock ma matches in MMA of course wrestling matches come up so I'm watching Owen Hart versus uh, Ken Shamrock Lions then ma match and you know I'm watching it first parts of it you know I was, I was a little ripped too I was a little high so parts of it looked like it was a real MMA fight but then you know you start seeing Owen Hart and them doing wrestling moves and you see like like Ken Shamrock punching him and then you see him uh, bump you know my opinion, a real person doesn't fall like that when you get punched. You don't go, ugh. No offense to Owen Hart. That's that's his training. That's what he does. But I'm just saying pro wrestling in general. If you get punched in the face, no one's going to whiplash on their back that hard. I mean, come on. Clothesline, maybe, if you get hit that hard. But I'm telling you, in a real fight, it's not that easy to knock somebody down. I mean, come on. Um, for those of you who are kind of iffy about pro wrestling like I am right now, who like pro wrestling but want to see something real, there's something I found last night. It's called hybrid wrestling. It's something in Japan. Basically, it's pro wrestling, but it's real. Ken Shamrock did it. It's pro wrestling. Like, they'll do wrestling moves in pro wrestling, but it'll be real, and it won't be planned or any of that bullshit. It's called hy something hybrid wrestling. Like, um, some weird name, hybrid wrestling. Just look up Ken Shamrock. It'll come up. Something with a C. It's beast. So yeah, that's uh, what I want to do. Basically, sometime next next year, after when I get off probation, I'm supposed to go to the army. So when I come back from the army, you know, I'm going there for video work and whatnot. Um, when I come back, you know, from boot camp, I'm gonna be in the best shape of my life. So I could go and do MMA and boxing. I want to do both. I want to try them both and see which I'm better in, and just see how far I could go with it. And as far as I go with it, that's how far I'm going to go. You know, if I start losing mad matches, I'm going to step back and say, okay, maybe it's not for me. But, you know, I'm going to, hopefully if I go to the Army and I come, you know, I don't get conned into going out into Iraq because I don't believe in war. You know, I'm a peaceful guy. Hopefully if I come back in the best shape of my life, I'm going to be a fighter and I'm going to go kick some ass. Pro wrestling is just not my thing no more. Sorry. Peace.